I think everybody knows that the asset browser inside of Blender is one of the most powerful tools that the software has to keep your assets organized, but do you know how to properly use this feature in your favor? To help you with that, in this video I'm gonna teach you how to properly use the asset browser and how you can organize yourself to reuse them in new projects. But first, if you really like this video, I ask you to subscribe and click the notification bell so when I post a new video about how to use Blender for architectural video, visualization you will be awarded okay without further ado let's get started the first thing you need to know is how to save an asset in your file. To do that, all we're gonna need to do is to click here in the editor type and change our editor type to asset browser. Here you can see that we're gonna have a window with which for now it's empty, but here is where we can add and organize our assets. For this example, I would like to save those planes that I have in my background. So I'm gonna select those and simply I can come here to my outline press the right mouse button and click here in mark as asset. I can do the same without access the outliner, going here in object, asset, mark as asset. After do that, you can see that our assets are now in our asset library, but all those assets are unassigned. That means those assets are not in a proper catalog. And to organize our assets, it's really important to put it on their own catalogs. I will create a new catalog by pressing here the plus sign, and I can rename it by double clicking. Now I can select all my unassigned assets and drag and drop to my catalog. As you can see now, I can just drag and drop my assets in my viewport, easy as that. But this is not limited to a simple asset, I can save an entire collection as an asset and reuse that. For example, I will click here in this collection which has all those planes, I will press the right mouse button and I will click mark as asset. As you can see now, I have an unassigned asset with all those planes at the same time. I will drag and drop this to my planes collection and as you can see, now I can just drag and drop the entire thing in my viewport. What about if I want to move only one of those objects here inside of this collection? Because for now Blender is considering this entire thing as only one object. Besides the fact that it has a lot of objects inside of it. How to move only one object inside of this? We can just click this object, press Ctrl A to apply and you can click here, make instances real. And now you can move individual objects. By the way, if you would like to buy and use those planes, the link is in the description below. So yeah, great, you saved those assets, you saved your file and now you want to use those assets in other Blender file. So what happens if I just come here to Blender, open a new file and try to do that? So yeah, if you come here to our older file, you can see that there are a lot of assets here, but here there is nothing. Why is this happening? So the reason why is this happening is because Blender does not know where you save your asset library because to find things on your library, you need to tell to the browser where those things are. So if you want to use the asset library in the wrong manner, you would do something like this. Take this file that we are using right now and convert it in an asset library file. How to do that? You just need to select where this file is saved, copying the directory here, and coming here in Edit Preference, you need to come here to File Paths and create here in an asset library a new library with this file path. As soon as you click here Add Asset Library, Blender will be able to recognize that folder as an asset path where you can find your planes and now you can reuse this in another file. As you can see, everything is working as expected, but this is not the best way to work with your asset browser. Because if you have a lot of folders here in this area, things will become kind of messy. So let's do a proper workflow to organize everything well and guarantee that this feature will help you to find your assets, not to lose them in the oblivion of your hard drive. Let me tell you how we can organize it in the proper way. First thing first, we're gonna need to have a proper folder for our libraries. As you can see, I have this library here on my computer where I would like to save all my libraries inside of this simple folder. This is a normal folder in my computer that Blenders detects as a folder for asset libraries. 
Inside of this folder, I will save two new files. The first file that I'm gonna save will be the file with my plants. So everything that I have about plants, I will save in this file to organize myself and reuse it later. To give you an example, I will select all those plants here. I will press Ctrl C to copy it and I will press Ctrl V to paste it on my new file. Just to remind you again, the link for those plants is in the description below. I will move this in this area here. And as you can see, just by pasting it on my new file, everything becomes a library automatically because my order file, everything was marked as asset in the first place. Okay, let's create a catalog. Let's call it plants and let's assign all our things to our plants. Finally, I will save the entire collection to reuse everything in the same order and placement at the same time. Let's mark it as asset and let's drag and drop it in our plant section. And I will save this file in my Blender Asset Libraries folder, where I would like to have all my libraries saved. Let's save it as Plants Library. And done, we have now a new asset library to work with. If we come back to our older file and clear those assets, as you can see, we can come here to our Blender Asset Libraries, Plants, and all our planes are here because they are in another file. And now that you know how to organize your things in your Blender files, take a look at this video to really know how to use Blender so your organized files will now have a purpose. See you there. Take care.